Have you ever felt so much pressure about a decision? We are all faced with what many are calling the decision of a lifetime. And I'm not talking about what we're going to have for dinner, although that's one we face every single night and a lot rides on that decision as well. But seriously, in a few weeks, the decision of who will be the next president of the United States will be upon us. It's a big deal. We all feel the pressure. We feel the weight, responsibility, and seriousness of the issues and where we stand on those issues. So how do we decide? I thought I'd look into the truth we can lean on when it comes to making big decisions. I'm so thankful God's Word guides us from Genesis to Revelation with relevant truth and God-given wisdom to consider before we make any decision. After all, did you know the average adult makes about 35,000 decisions each and every day? Over 200 of those decisions are about food alone. Children only make around 3,000 decisions each day, which proves the statement true that adulting is hard. The older we get, the more responsibilities we have, and with responsibilities come way more decisions, which usually leads me to the decision of having one more cup of coffee to wake me up enough to make all those decisions. The struggle is real. Our choices matter. God cares about every decision we make, no matter how big or small. So I'm going to share with you three truths I lean on when making big decisions, and I pray these help you as well. The first truth is, I can trust God will guide me as I seek His way over my way. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. If I try to lean on what I want or think minus the truth, guidance, and wisdom of the Lord, I will always end up off track. But as I trust the Lord and lean into the truths and precepts laid out for me in Scripture, my life and choices will reflect that and I'll have peace in any decision I make. The second truth I lean on when making big decisions is I don't have to be afraid. I simply need to pray. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Big decisions take time and should always be covered in prayer. God's not the author of confusion and chaos in our soul. He offers us peace as we seek His heart and bring Him into our choices. When we seek wisdom with our choices, we don't have to be afraid. We can lay it all down and pray for His will to be done. And the third truth I know and trust when I'm faced with any decision, Jesus is over it all. I am not. Colossians 1, 16 and 17. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. There is no other name above the name of Jesus. He was and is and is to come from Genesis to Revelation. He is before all things and in him, all things hold together. So no one decision or outcome of a collective decision will change that. That's the truth. He is over all things. He is in control and I am not. Those are three truths we can lean on as we face any decision in this life. Do not be afraid. God is with us through the process of making decisions and even with the outcome of it all. I'm Lori Klein.